I think it was really disappointing that New Zealand pulled out of the tour and, uh, and obviously England didn't come. And I think uh, that put a bit of a darkener on things. Um, but Australia came uh, and they had a ball. And you speak to all the Australian players and I spoke to quite a few of the guys while they were here over the last five weeks. And they absolutely loved it. And I think also the thing about it is there it was nothing like they thought it was going to be. Um, they were concerned about coming to Pakistan. They didn't really know what to expect and they probably looked on the negative side, if you like. But they are going to go back with unbelievable memories for starters. They're going to go back with lifelong friendships with the opposition players. I've never in my life have I seen a team and another team interact like they did throughout the entire five weeks. Um, the fact that they lived at the same hotel, stayed at the same hotel, obviously helped. And yes, there was obviously security, security arrangements and issues that had to make that happen. But they stayed at the same hotel, they trained at the same time, came in the buses at the same time, in separate buses by the same time. They trained at the same time, different sides of the ground. But they spent so much time running into each other uh, and just looking at some of their social media posting as well. You could see the boys spend a bit of time together at breakfast and after play and swapping ideas. And I mean, for example, uh, Minus Lubbers Shane said that he's picked up a couple of things from Baba, uh, watching him bat, that he's going to try and introduce him to his game. So I think it was just, a, from, a, from a Pakistan cricket point of view, I do not think that this tour could have been any better. I just don't think it could have been any better. And I think that all the other teams around the world looking on now are now thinking, wow, this is great. Let's go to Pakistan. Let's get there and enjoy it. Because Pakistan's an amazing country. The hospitality is extraordinary. Uh, and players are now going to really look forward to come to Pakistan to, to enjoy the, 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 the beauty of Pakistan, get out and about a bit hopefully and see areas of Pakistan, but just enjoy the best of Pakistan. And, that's, um, and that's, that's a real treat, I think, for cricketers who haven't been here before. And you know, as I said, these Australians are going to spread big stories, big stories about their tour and, and other teams around the world are going to take it on board and say, right, let's go, let's get there. So the PCB, I think now I've got a, a base they can work from, and I think they've got a real opportunity to make these tracks really good here in Pakistan. Uh, we've heard um, the chairman, uh, Remy's Raja, talking about the Australian soil that's going to be coming in to work on some various pitches around the country. I mean, that's a, that's a matter of, of relaying sort of uh, two or three or maybe four pitches in various, at various grounds, and they've got to identify which grounds they're going to do it at, whether it's the main grounds or not, I'm not sure. Might be some of the practice grounds also, or some of the training grounds. But they've got a real opportunity to try it there first and then introduce here. They've, they've given up the idea of the drop-in pitches. But I think they've got a, a level base now. They've realised that uh, it could have been a little bit better. And I think that uh, there's, there's no doubt that that will be improved dramatically because Ramiz, as the chairman, has got some really big plans to make sure that does happen. So I think that it has happened, has, has given everyone food for thought, and now it's time to act to make sure that they do uh, come right. And uh, we know that Ralpindi can be a very good surface. It can be a good willing surface. Um, and yes, the one thing they mustn't do, and let's not forget this, the one thing they mustn't do is they mustn't lose the characteristics of Pakistan cricket. It's got to make sure that the good spinners come through. I mean, if you think of the spinners of yesteryear, the, um, the Abdul Qadirs, the, the great spinners of, of, that have been around, the Saclanes, um, I mean, it's, it, there's a whole host of spinners that have been around. If you think of those spinners, they're the sort of guys you've got to breed and come through because that's what Pakistan cricket's all about. So you've got to encourage the spinners, you've got to make sure that the, the tracks are conducive to spin bowling, but at the same time, there's going to be areas where you can make sure that the tracks are, uh, uh, have got more bounce and are a bit more lively and... And, uh, but I, th I think that it's a, a situation now where they can all sit down and just assess it and say, right, this is what we're going to do. The chairman, as I said, Ramiz Raja, wants to make sure it's, it's right, so um, he will do that. He's a very determined man. And I think now is the opportunity to make sure that they lift that because there are tours coming in a few months' time and there's a bit of an opportunity now to, to make sure there's work done. I'm a huge rap for Manus Lubbershane. I think he's a, he's a wonderful cricketer. I think his story is quite amazing. The fact that uh, he wasn't a particularly talented cricketer and he, he got a guy on board, um, an Indian born guy in Australia who worked very hard with him for a few years and, and got him to the, to the level he's at now. So I think that in itself is a, is a very nice story. So I'm a big rap for him. Um, Patrick Cummins, I think, is sensational. I think he's just a sensational cricketer, full stop. I think his captaincy uh, was very good. He's a, he, to me, he's a, um, a proactive captain. 
I think captains can be reactive uh, and they're not good captains. Proactive captains are great captains and I think he's a really good captain. I think the declaration uh, on day 14 of the test series was really good as well. So I think um, they're two fine cricketers and I, and I really enjoy watching both of those. Uh, obviously, Kaija played absolutely superbly. I mean, he was... Uh, I, I don't understand why he hasn't been playing all long for Australia, why he hasn't been just a, a permanent member because he's such a fine player. Um, so that's Australia's point of view. Let me talk about uh, Pakistan. I mean, Barbara Azam is just someone who I think is just an absolute genius. Just an absolute genius. That's, that's all I've got. He's just a, a magnificent cricketer and someone who plays superbly, who entertains, who's he's got such a gift of timing. He's just a delight to watch. And I think the 100 that he scored in the second one day uh, was probably one of the top 300s I've ever seen. I've been in this game for a long time. Um, so I think he's an absolute genius. Um, I really also enjoy watching Shaheen Chawafridi um, because he's electric. Uh, he takes wickets, which is uh, terrific. And I think he's someone who's really special. Uh, Rizwan is someone that uh, I get excited about because of the work that he does and all the communication he has with the players. I think that's also very good. Um, they're probably the three, no one else is. Oh, I also like uh, Harris Ralph actually. Harris Ralph's the, uh, someone I also enjoy. So there's the, there's the group from the Pakistan boys that I really enjoy. Enjoy his express pace and to have a, have a bowling attack that they have got with Afridi and also Harris Ralph I think is amazing. <music>so the spin department is a little bit bare as far as i'm concerned um it, it should be much better than this and, and you, anyone can just look at the best spinners over the years for pakistan cricket and you can look at those guys and and just see how good those, those guys were and how they were just match winners uh, and not necessarily um out and out match winners in the fourth innings but throughout the, the style of the test matches that cupboard is bare and i'm afraid it's got to improve and somehow they've got to find really talented spinners they can be young guys but bring them through bring them through and really work hard with them i get excited also about the reverse swing the reverse swing is is one of the most exciting parts of the game and and everyone seems to have nailed that superbly uh, and, and that's that's great that's that's a real positive and i'd like to see that enhance more uh, it's not a negative um, i'm impressed about that I, um, but definitely the spin bowling department is bare feet if you've got the express pace you've got guys going to reverse swing the ball you've got unbelievable batsmen as well um, you've got uh, um, spinners that are not there at the moment as far as I'm concerned at, at a test level. Um, they're not asking enough questions. Uh, Nathan Lyon asked a lot of questions. They're not asking enough questions. So I, I think that's where there's a little bit of an issue if I'm totally honest. But uh, gee, Pakistan's got a lot of talent. A lot, a lot of talent. Some of these young guys coming through as well. Don't forget to, uh, Shafiq and those sort of blokes. There's, there's lots. And, I got so excited also about the PSL. I mean, that was extraordinary cricket. So there's a lot of stuff coming through and that's great. Just got to get that spin department right. If you want to be a sports journalist or a commentator, you've got to work really hard. Um, you've got to have a real love for the game. You've got to um, listen to people. You've got to identify people, for a commentator's point of view, identify people that you like listening to and sort of try and pick the best out of those sort of guys. Uh, entertain, you've got to entertain, you've got to enlighten and entertain uh, and educate. They're the three E's, uh, three E's as far as I'm concerned. But you can easily, I think, I mean, I used to watch Tony Gregg a lot. He was someone that I sort of picked up a lot. And there's other guys that I try and pick up from uh, as I go over the years. But you've got to work hard and you've got to have a few lucky breaks. I and mean, there's no doubt that comes into it as well. So just keep at it and keep at it there'll be some knocks along the way but just keep going and, and you'll get there hopefully in the end i think so that's that's what i would like to my advice would be